Dealer here. Today's video is going to just be about something that has been asked a lot <laughs> over the years about nails. Um, now, depending on my mood, sometimes I want really, really long, or sometimes I want manageable, easy to do things nails. These are called bad B nails. They're also called grippers. If you know, then you know. Now, I'll, I'll apologize with my long nails as you should be with anything to do with your style. However, um, I mean, it's not like a diss or anything most times, but it is what it is. Bad bitch nails ain't for everybody, sis. So basically I'm always getting asked, how do you do anything with long nails? How do you keep them clean? And I figured I'm just gonna put this in a video, put it out there. So the next time I'm asked, I'm just gonna send the link. <laughs> so, <laughs> so first of all, having long gripper nails, it can be hard at first. Um, the reason why I actually, sorry, the reason why I actually got them the first time like crazy long was because selling I was in was in Brixton and every girl had bad B nails that was doing nails, you know, like, and all the clients that came were baddies, IG models. They don't want no stubby nails. Like everything, everything urban girls do, we do it big, big 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 and dramatic what and colorful unapologetically which i'm so here for so when it comes to cleaning and keeping these babies clean i'm just being honest it is a bit tough it's not exactly like a cakewalk at first it takes a little while so for me at first my main issue was how am i going to do pedicures with that that was a bit peak with this um using the electric file not accidentally filing off your nail while you're filing someone else that was a bit tricky if you're not a nail tech though it's not even matter this part is going to be mainly about keeping them clean um especially i put product in my hair all the time when i come out of the shower and i hate having that oily thing underneath which oh, drives me mad so the best thing to do is to Carry one of these around. This will be your bestie. Just call it like your little giant nail toothbrush, basically. So you just take your hand wash, squirt it all underneath. Each one can get a pump if you like. Like, but for me, I just like to just do like a long line. Couple long lines. Take this get under there bitch like pull back the neck sorry i'm just going to explain from here pull back the skin that's the most important part you have to pull the skin down if you don't pull the skin down you're only going to be cleaning from here up once you pull that skin down it's even better probably to actually put the soap in when your fingers are being pulled down let it marinate a bit let that marinate um for maybe a minute then you go in scrub each finger now you need to push down don't just go across push down on that nail here so let's try and get a good angle for you guys you need to pull the skin down take the the brush push it down and work it around with that soap twist that b draw it all up you get me that sink is gonna, is, it might look like a bit of a madness the first time you're doing this, if it's like the end of a day, but that's exactly what you want. That's exactly what you want. And um, for me, when I'm eating, um, it's almost inevitable if I'm eating with my hands, things are gonna get in there. So it's always good to carry one of these around and you go to the loo throughout the day. Um, also, things like if your nails are growing out, um, and you can feel maybe one's lifting or not that sturdy or whatever. It's always better to just cut that one down, seriously. It's not worth it catching on someone, like something, sorry. And from that, you get in what I call sprained acrylic. Now, sprained acrylic is when your nail breaks a bit lower than where your nail is. So for example, we could say here, that, if it breaks there, that feeling underneath the acrylic is excruciating. It's better for you to just take in pair of nail cutters hold the nail sturdy hold on hold the nail sturdy with your thumb always tilt the cutters 
away from your finger so that when it does break and make that clip it will just maybe break it and then going down as opposed to up towards your nail if that makes sense so if i was to take the file i mean clippers and go to clip here the crack could go up that way that's what you don't want so you need to tip it down at a downwards angle cut it short just so it can be less likely to catch on other things um also um with these sort of nails i wouldn't recommend having them if you do things like basketball netball which is pretty obvious rugby long for man let's just keep it real that is that's one of the things i'm a break dancer and a b-girl so i do a lot of things where i'm holding my body up on the floor it's rotating spinning to be honest if i've got a show or something that's not the time for grippers that ain't the time for grippers it's just not it's just not like it's not it's it's, it's not i'm just picturing it now it's really not um it's better to do it when you're kind of having more of a chill time you know soft life and all of that but if you still are active bear in mind that anything can catch um but if you if you get them thick enough and sturdy enough they should be fine and not bend to be honest the longer the nail the thicker it needs to be and the with the apex anyway <laughs> um, another thing is as i said people always ask me like how do you do any like nails da, 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 da. how do you do things with the long nails it's like i'm sitting here doing your nails like amy why are you asking me how i do it you can see i'm doing your nails with the long nails um and yeah that's about it in terms of like maintaining your long talons what i would also suggest is when you're washing dishes to wear gloves like i beg you wear gloves because if any of your acrylic lifts um over the time of you having them on so it could be like four weeks in any part or anything like that and any water gets underneath that acrylic that can cause madnesses like infections fungal nails nastinesses when you're washing up and you've got food and things like that it's better to just be safe than to be sorry isn't it um so yeah i think that's all i will say also people do actually say things like how do you press buttons and things like that let me just break that down actually quickly you've you've gone to the bathroom you've got one of those um buttons on the top of your toilet don't you most of the time so obviously i'm not i ain't got time to be doing all of this bending this nail back you knuckle everything knuckle that feel me knuckle the button in now the microwave has a touch screen thing so i have to worry about that um when it comes to typing i'm just being so honest when i type on my laptop i use my nails sounds crazy there's no point in me trying to even attempt to do this because the tips of the nails are going to touch the next button that's long you have to find your flow it might take you a day or two i'm being honest it might take you a day or two to get used to typing with it but once you get into the flow you'll be all right you will be all right my nail my skin does not touch that keyboard bless it it's just all you literally hear is because that is what is pressing the things and it's been fine okay it's been fine um i'm trying to think of what else because there have been so many questions about when you have longest how do you go anyway let me not ask the most dumb questions about going to the restroom and stuff we're, we're just gonna we're, we're not even gonna deal with that but um yeah basically with anything if you're doing your makeup you might end up getting some makeup on your nails under your nails it's better to always just do this whenever you're doing something a bit messy this will save your life this will save your life and keep your talons nice and clear and fresh so even after you get out the shower it's it's good to do this just every time like my, my nan does and my nan doesn't even have long nails she just keeps this on the top of she's always had one the, the, uh, the pig shaped one for my childhood this is anyway yeah so she's always kept a couple of these on just the sink just in general she always believes that you should clean underneath your nails with a brush anyway um if you live with other people maybe it's best to get multiple you know um but growing up we just all had the same pig shaped little nail brush cleaner on the sink but you know caribbean island gal things there um so yeah that's it really 
I'm just trying to think if there's anything else in terms of maintaining grippers that you might want to know. Oh, doing lashes, doing your makeup. How do I do things with the lashes and the nails and the nails with the lashes? So for me, it's actually easier. Oh, I've got a lash on my trolley here instead of taking a new one off. All right, so, and I'm sticking on lashes. What I do is actually easier with nails than it is without. Doing the whole tweezer thing, I feel like I have a lot less control. So what I'll do is once the glue is on the lash and it's tacky, my nails become my tweezers. Okay, that was not the best. <laughs> once the glue is tacky, which is actually so convenient, um, it works better for me than tweezers actually do because I feel like I have more control because I have two and I can hold both ends. I guide it to the middle of my lash, place it, and then I use the tweezer nails <laughs> to grip and push them more in along. It works wonders. You can actually, I know they say the saying, your nails are jewels, not tools, but you can, if you have grippers, yeah? The best way I would say to see it in a positive way when it comes to actually functioning day to day is use your nails as tools, okay? Make this work for you. You go get them scissor hands. So instead of like taking out lotion and taking it out or hair product or whatever, taking it out. You're asking, you're cruising for a bruise in here. We all know this is dumb. Let's not do that. Why are we, why are we putting, why are we putting product in, on, do, you know that guy, the one that goes, that's that, yeah? You need to take your nails, use them as tools, put them in this way and scoop the product out so the product is on top of the nail. That's all I can really think of right now. I'm on my way out. I just thought I'd quickly drop this little video while I'm looking half decent. Oh, I need to wash my hair. But um, yeah, that's it. This is the video on maintaining your long claws. How do you do anything with long nails vibes? That's how, that's how Amy. <laughs> but like I said, bad bitch nails ain't for everyone, sis. But if they're for you, make that work for you. Unapologetically, own your sh If someone don't like, like, like your nails, Make that noise. Do it. Pee them off all day, every day. You see them? Same with long lashes. How are your lashes so long? Anyway, that would be a whole nother thing. We're talking about nails here. <laughs> but yeah, that's been that. I am T and D, the nail dealer. And yeah, it's been real. Thank you guys. Have a nice day for the day you deserve. <laughs>